Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to discuss first order ODE under method 3 which is linear equation. Right? First, we recall back. Okay, we have three methods to solve first order ODE. The first method is variable equation. The second method is homogeneous equation. And the third method is linear equation. Okay, we done discuss variable equation and homogeneous equation. So in this video, we will discuss method 3 to solve first order ODE, which is linear equation. Alright. Alright, consider the first order ODE here, okay? We have x dy over dx plus y equals to 3 plus 2x over 1 plus x squared, okay? Let me check the degree, 1 by 1, alright? We have x the power of 1 here, okay? y the power of 1 here means degree 1, okay? And then we have 3 x the power of 0 here because 3 is constant. So, we can put x the power of 0 means degree 0. And then 2x the power of 1 means degree 1. And then 1x the power of 0 means degree 0. And x squared means degree 2. Right? Not the same degree. Right? So, it's not a homogeneous equation. So, how we can solve this equation, right? Okay, from this equation, okay, it has the term containing y to the power of 1, right? So, it's a linear equation. Alright, for linear equation, okay, the equation not the same degree, and then we cannot separate the variables and the equation has term containing y to the power of 1 and have no term containing y to the y to the power of any value except 1 okay means that have no term containing y squared y cubed and so on right all right now let me look at the procedure to solve linear differential equation. Right? Okay, the first step, we write into the form of dy over dx plus pxy equals to qx. Right? From this form, okay, first term on the left hand side should be term containing dy over dx. Right? And then we need to write coefficient of dy over dx equals to positive 1 here, right? And then the second term on the left hand side should be term containing y, right? And for right hand side, okay, the term must not containing y, right? And then step 2, we need to identify Px and Qx from here, right? Step 3, we find integration of Px dx. And then step 4, we find the integrating factor or if where if equals to e to the power of integration of px dx obtained in step 3, right? And then step 5, we can write the solution and the solution is y times if which is obtained in step 4 equals to integration of qx which is obtained in step 2 times if in step 4 dx, right? And if the initial condition is given, we need to continue with step 6, okay, applying the given initial condition to find the value of constancy, right? Okay, these are 
the procedure to solve linear differential equation. We have five basic method, okay, five basic step, okay, and then if the initial condition is given, we need to continue with step six to find the value of C, okay. If the initial condition is not given, we just do until step five, all right. Alright, before we discuss the examples involving linear equation, we look at integrating factor. What is integrating factor under linear equation? Okay, an integrating factor is a function by which an ODE can be multiplied in order to make it integrable. Alright, and IF equals to E to the power of integration of PX DX. Okay. And other useful formula to solve integrating factor is e to the power of positive ln x will equals to x. Okay, we can simplify e to the power of positive ln here. Alright. Okay, let's say if we have e to the power of ln 2. Okay, we can simplify it is equals to 2. Okay, and then e the power of ln 2x, we can simplify e and the power of ln, so we have 2x. And if we have e to the power of 2 ln x, okay, we need to write e to the power of ln x squared, we move 2, okay, to the power of x here, okay, using the properties of log, okay, then we can simplify e to the power of ln, then we get x squared. Alright, and number four, if we have e to the power of negative ln x, we need to move negative coefficient of ln here to the power here. Okay, now we have e to the power of positive ln, so we can simplify, so we have x to the power of negative 1, which is 1 over x. Alright, okay, now let me look some common mistakes. Alright, e the power of ln x will equals to 2x. This is actually wrong. Okay, the correct method is like number 3 here. Okay, if we have e to the power of 2 ln x, we need to move 2 coefficient of ln okay, to power here. So we get e to the power of positive ln x squared. Then we can simplify e and ln here. So we have x squared. Not equals to 2x. We cannot simplify if the coefficient of ln is not equals to positive 1 here. Alright? Alright, and if we have e, the power of negative ln x. Okay? Some student write equals to negative x but it is wrong right the correct method is like this okay if we have e the power of negative ln x we need to move negative coefficient here to the power then we have e the power of positive ln x the power of negative one okay then after this we can simplify e the power of positive ln here. So we get x the power of negative 1, okay, which is equals to 1 over x. This is the correct method to simplify e the power of negative ln x. Right? It's not equals to negative x, but it's equals to 1 over x. Alright? This one also correct and this one also correct. Okay, this one no problem because the coefficient of ln is positive 1, right? But for number 3 and number 4, we must be careful. Okay, we need to write coefficient of ln equals to positive 1 first. Alright? Okay, so remember that coefficient of ln should be positive 1. Then we can simplify e the power of ln x equals to x, right?
Alright, now look at example 1 from previous semester papers. Solve the linear differential equation dy over dx equals to 1 plus 2y tangent x. Hint, integration of tangent x equals to negative ln cos x plus c. Alright, first, let me check the first order ODE. Alright, so we have y, the power of 1 here. Okay, and there is no term containing y squared, y cubed, and so on. So, it means that this is linear equation. Alright? And when we solve using linear equation, first step, we write into the form of dy over dx plus bxy equals to qx. Alright? And then, from the given question, we need to move the term containing y to left hand side because from the standard form of linear equation the term containing y should be on the left hand side right so we can write dy over dx and then when we move so we have minus 2y tangent x and then right hand side equals to 1 which is the term not containing y okay and when we compare to the standard form of linear equation after dy over dx must plus sign here. So we can write dy over dx plus negative 2 tangent x and then we move y here. Okay, so that we can compare and then equals to 1. Okay, and after that we continue with steps 2. Okay, identify px and qx. Okay. So, when we compare, okay, dy over dx must equal to coefficient, must equal to dy over dx here and coefficient of dy over dx should be positive 1 when we compare, okay. And then our px equals to negative 2x, negative 2 tangent x, okay. So, we can write here, okay. And then our qx equals to 1. Okay, so we can write here. Okay. Okay, next we continue with step 3. Okay, find integration of px dx. Okay, so integration of px dx equals to negative 2 tangent x dx. Okay, we get px equals to negative 2 tangent x from step 2. Okay, so we replace here, right? And after that, we can move out constant negative 2. So we can write negative 2 integration of tangent x dx. Okay, from here, if hin is not given, okay, we can integrate using u substitution. First, we need to write tangent x equals to sine x over cos x, then we can use u substitution to integrate. But now, the hint is given. Okay, so we just use the formula given in this question. Okay, so we integrate tangent x dx. Okay, it is equals to negative ln cos x. Okay, plus c. But when we find integration of bx dx, we don't need to put plus c okay so when we integrate tangent x dx it become negative ln cos x modulus okay we still have negative 2 in front here constant all right and after that we simplify we have positive 2 ln cos x okay and then every time when we have coefficient of ln not equals to positive 1. So, we can move to the power here. Okay. So, we can write ln cos x bracket squared here. Okay. Okay. This come from properties of log. Okay. When we have P log A M, we can write log A M the power of P. Okay. From here. And then, for trigo function, we can write ln and then cos squared x. Okay, here. Right? 
Alright, step 4. We need to find integrating factor. Okay, IF. The formula is E, the power of integration of PX DX. Okay. So, from IF formula, okay, we can write E, the power of ln cos squared X. We replace integration of PX DX equals to ln cos squared X obtained in step 3. Alright. And then, now we have e the power of positive ln. So we can simplify e and ln here. So we have cos squared x. Okay. This comes from formula e the power of ln x equals to x. Okay. We can simplify e and ln. Okay. So the answer is x. Okay. So when we have e the power of ln cos squared x, it becomes cos squared x. Right. And then we continue with step 5. Okay? We can find the solution using formula y times if equals to integration of qx times if dx. Okay? So from this formula, we have y and then our if is cos squared x and then equals to integration sign and then we replace qx equals to 1 okay, from the previous slide. Okay, and then times IF, IF equals to cos squared X, DX. Okay, then we simplify, so we have Y cos squared X equals to integration of cos squared X, DX. And then from here, we have even power here. Okay, we have cos even here. So we can use double angle identity. Okay, we can write cos squared x equals to half times 1 plus cos 2x from double angle identity. Okay. And then, integration of cos squared x dx, okay, actually we use integration of cos even. Okay. And then, from here, okay, we can move out constant half. Okay. Okay, and then we integrate one by one. We still have constant half here. We integrate one with respect to x equals to x. And then we integrate cos to x with respect to x. Okay, we can use this formula. Integration of cos ax dx equals to 1 over a sine ax plus c. So now our a equals to 2. So we can write cos 2x equals to 1 over 2, and then sine 2x, and then plus c, right? And after that, we expand. So, we have y cos squared x equals to half x plus 1 over 4 sine 2x plus c, right? This is the final answer, okay? We no need to find the value of C because the initial condition is not given. Right? Coming up next, more examples for linear equations. If you like this video, you can subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.